everyone. Hope you're doing fine. Um, I wanted to paint today, but I my paints um, are um, so runny that I actually can't keep a shape or form. I'm not even using uh, like a, a small. Um, uh, tile for example so i just you know took them two days ago and put them in the coldest coldest part of, of my place so that you know um, um they can become the consistency that i want um we had this problem in the summer uh when it was hot and all the paints became like house paints acrylic paints became runny and we had actually to um, put the house paint like in a in the front of the AC air conditioner or um, so you know it's um, temperature affects this the, the Chile um, uh, bloom technique a lot more so that we ha than what we have uh, uh, the, realized you know uh, so um so now until they become a bit colder and <laughs> till i can paint again i thought i'll put this video because it's um I, I realized that there was a question um in the group about this and also i think i kind of managed to have an idea on how to keep my house uh clean and still enjoy this hobby. Uh, of course, dealing with house paint is uh, makes the possibility of your house being um, ruined is like, what, 100% more than, or I mean like 10 times more than just the regular acrylic paints. So anyhow, let me just go ahead. So what i do is i have this dog pool and it's a jumbo uh <laughs> dog pool and um i have it on a table and i this table is covered uh fully with uh, uh it's a duct tape with a piece of uh plastic and I'll show you what I mean, because I use it also to cover uh, my the, the pool. And uh, it's even though it's this is thin, but it's actually very sturdy. Uh, so what I do is I go ahead with my with the tape, and I fix it around the outer edge of the pool. And I go around and I do that all over the pool. But then, and I already have like two pads, uh, pet pads in the floor of, of the pool. But then when I actually use this all around, I still have an area here that is not covered. So what I do is I cover it with a press and seal. And guys, I cover everything i don't want to get dirty with press and seal whatever and you're gonna see um more when i go over other things here so for example the trays that i put my paints on i, I have like aluminum foil and then i have a piece of uh, press and seal on top and um and this way you know i can uh, have my uh, tiles dry over a cup or I have my pens here when I come and uh, want to have a painting session and you know so on and so forth but they're always covered you know and I also use it on tiles to make skin that's press and seal a lot I mean it's so handy and I buy a lot of six of them and i keep in the house and i use it for almost a lot of things almost anything <laughs> so anyhow then you put this area and let's say that also part of this got um you know uh, torn 
children also come with a piece of present seal and just seal it. And this stays two months. And you know, sometimes I have to take the, some of the paints off with my hands and I just uh, throw them away. And then that this way I can basically keep this setting for two months. So that is now what I call my station. So it's all ready. Um, underneath, like I said, the table is covered also with this. And if you have something heavier than this, also you can put underneath or, you know, but I think this one is gonna just prevent, let's say uh, some of the uh, paint that I mixed went on the table. You can just take that uh, that part or the whole thing and uh, put it again and it fi it's fixed to the table so you know so this is this this is this is an I bought it first from Amazon for nine dollars and then I saw it in Sherwin Williams shop and um, I didn't see it in every Sherwin Williams shops but they're for 12 Canadian dollars and Sherwin Williams, and then I told him and I got it for nine. So just in case you saw that, you know what to do. Now, sometimes you want to do um, a swipe where you don't, you don't have the pool, but still you wanna keep your place uh, where the paint basically falls uh, clean. You can do this by, let's say, uh, this piece of plastic, which is really thin and light, and I I just cover my, I, I call it a receiving tray. It's actually a canvas that can be thrown, but I don't throw anything. I either use the canvas, canvases as trays for whatever, for example, and then keep it on the shelves. Or I, I see I use them as receiving trays. Of course, the one that it has is bigger, way bigger than this. But for the sake of the discussion, let's just imagine this is the receiving tray. And then you can do swipes and you can do small tiles. Uh, as long as you don't need a hair dryer that's going to move this around, you're good with this having a receiving tray. And when you're finished, you just fold this all and throw it in the garbage, you know? So this is uh, also an idea. And now, underneath my table, which I call uh, my field, now some people have carpet that has a plastic underlining, uh, so that is good. If you put that, that is good, you're, you're, you know, that's the best. I'm still looking for one. I don't know where to get them here in uh, Toronto. Now, what I do, though, is I have bought this thick, uh, I think it's a shower curtain. I bought this a long time, but it's really, really thick. And I just put it, I just put it under the table and it should extend at least like one feet, if not a feet and a half, a foot and a half, <laughs> a foot and a half each way, if you can. And then what I did is I went around and using this sturdy tape, which sometimes I use over and over, and I just went ahead and, you know, uh, that way I demarcated my field, what I call my field. <laughs> and I laugh at myself when I talk about station and a field. People would think that I had a, 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 a military background. <laughs> Actually, uh, but my background is medicine. So anyways, uh, if you do that, um, that's good. But then I add, I make only one exit from my studio. 
which is part of the living room, by the way. Um, so to me, I make only one exit because I don't wanna, uh, I don't want to go with the, with the paint anywhere else, you know? So I demarket also my exit or entry and exit with um, a bathroom uh, mat. You can see that it's all paints. <laughs> Yeah, every now and then I uh, let them dry from the paint and then I wash them, you know. Uh, don't wash any piece that has paint that's not dry. If it's wet, it's going to ruin your uh, washer. Let it dry and then wash it. So, anyways, so then I put this at my exit and after that you will see my slippers. Because then when I, see, when I go on, you know, when I see this, I remember every time that that's my, that's my uh, limit with going with pins, mixing pins, uh, you know, and it reminds me to be careful if I have to go with my pins, like now I have to put them somewhere else. This reminds me that uh, beyond this, be careful. <laughs> so I hope this is helpful guys um, one more thing of course press and seal you can house uh, you can cover everything I cover my cell activator so that that this does not become black in, in two days when I use a black um, uh, pillow and uh, it will become dirty for sure, but then, you know, it's, it will be less dirty. Look at that, for example. In no time, I have white and a black. But then, it, you know, I don't have to wash it again and again. And it kind of gives me less time to worry about what's clean, not clean. And I don't want also, like, uh, my bottles to be, like, having a layer of, dry paint and yeah so basically i use it for everything i use it also on on tiles to make skins and i already have a video on that um i don't remember the number of the video but um, i can also link it underneath this um in the description underneath this one um so now one uh, one more thing which uh I really, really cannot do without. And that is um, industrial napkins. Um, this is, I got from Home Depot. And the reason I, why I prefer this on any napkins is it feels like a cloth, actually. It's very, very sturdy. And um, not only like I want sometimes to wipe my gloves from all the uh, pants when we're uh, spinning uh, sometimes you have a lot of paint i mean you can ruin your, your piece if you don't wipe your hand not only that but also i have them folded here in a pocket and every now and then i just uh, put extra and i keep it beside my uh the pool or whatever i work and um not only that, but also you can, let's imagine that this is my swipe, my swiping, that's what I have here. So let's say that this is your swiping uh, piece. You can also just, you know, and then it's clean or half clean, but this is, this is good. And uh, so it's uh, industrial napkins we come to this uh, as a last thing and so uh, the bottom I covered with uh, a seal again and one layer is enough guys every now and then I check it and if it's too much or you know I just um, uh, take it and put one again press one again now here it's a different story. I have here a press and seal as well as a layer. 
but and, and this is like been there for maybe three months and then I bought these uh, uh, shower caps from Amazon they call it Diana shower caps and um, usually I look at this how big it so even if it's uh, you know your spinner or your lazy Susan is bigger than th this still you, you have like three inches each size so it's six inches bigger you know so i think this is a 12 inch but i didn't measure it but i think this is 12 inch so that's really uh big so i have this on but I don't usually use one, I use two. Why? I realize sometimes that this will be full of paint. Uh, that that I just want to take my piece, put it aside, and I'm going to come back again and work on a less messy uh, spot. Because also I don't want to ruin the piece that's already beautiful. So what I do is I try, of course, I have to keep the, the piece uh, in a safe place, but uh, so that I don't ruin it also while I'm taking this, but I can take it easily and I just like, you know, make sure that do it in a good way, you know, make sure also that it doesn't go uh, like it went now, but, uh, and then I take it, throw it, and then I have it. A new field, a new um, uh, surface, clean and already has a layer. When I'm done with my with the full painting session, I take whatever and throw it. But sometimes also I keep it, and then I come next day if it's not full, if it's not like a thick layer of paint, huh? And I come next day and I just take the skin off easily and as if you can see actually this came from one of these because um or another one that has a red but anyhow sometimes i just take it take whatever skin that's there and i use it again or if not if i can't take everything and i don't want to any pieces like this to come off and ruin the piece I'm working on. I just flip it the other side. Trying so much possible to use uh, whatever I have. I'm trying so much possible that what I have lasts me for some time. And uh, that is actually, um, that, those are the tips that I have and I thought of now. Did I mention this? I don't know. If, if you're dealing with a torch or candles, you have to have this in the house. And especially with a torch, you never know when that is gonna uh, burn a canvas or so keep one and get acquainted on how to use this safety issue. This is the most important piece actually in this whole, uh, hobby or in a house actually and every in every house there should be a piece like this or bigger now another thing is let's say some of your paint went over the floor whether it's wooden or a carpet i found this in hunt bow also they should give me actually a percentage, right? And Sharon Williams as well, and Amazon as well. <laughs> but anyhow, even though it says carpet, I went ahead and I tried it on a uh, wooden floor. And now I must say, this apartment is a rented apartment, so the floors are not really the wooden floors that some people have, or I had before, for example, in my house before that was real wood this is i think it's half and half you know so i without using a loaf that is going to scratch the floor you can easily take the paint 
uh, with spraying this. But this is again a chemical, so make sure that you have a full, first of all, the gloves, but also a full clothing. Uh, do not use it with your skin, uh, bare skin. Mostly if you have kids, please keep all stuff far from you know, their reach. And uh, that's it, I guess, guys. 20 minutes. So, but it's all, every point that I mentioned is really, really served me a lot. So I'm hoping that also you will find this beneficial. Okay, guys, have a wonderful Sunday. Have a wonderful week ahead of you guys. Bye.